nope, I'm not a morning person and my son's not a morning person. If you can identify with this personality trait, then stick around because we're gonna show you one week of easy and healthy breakfast to satisfy your kiddo and get your day started off right. It's Monday morning and the first thing we're going to make is berry cream of wheat. This is one of Macklin's favorites, not only to eat, but to make. Start by mixing together three tablespoons of cereal, half a cup of water, and microwave this for one minute on high. After the minute, when you remove it from the microwave, stir it briefly to prevent lumps. Then add a quarter to a third cup of mixed frozen berries to the bowl and cook it for another 30 seconds in the microwave. Stir it again and put it back in the microwave for 20 second bursts until you can easily smash the berries with a fork. Just make sure that it's not too hot before you serve it and Macklin finishes this meal every time. Today we are making cashew butter banana oatmeal. This one is also incredibly easy to make and you start by microwaving together a third of a cup of oatmeal with a half a cup of water on high for one minute. Typically with oatmeal you would do a one to two ratio for cereal to water, but just like with the cream of wheat, when your child is self-feeding, a little less water will make a thicker cereal that sticks to the spoon. Now remove it from the microwave, stir, and microwave for 30 more seconds. Smash in half a banana or more, and then stir in two tablespoons of cashew butter. I like to add a little cinnamon for extra flavor. And Macklin always gobbles this one up too. We're going to make some scrambled eggs today, which I start by dicing up three cherry tomatoes and one or two tablespoons of an onion. Really, you can use whatever veggies you have on hand, but I really love this combo. When my husband makes some scrambled eggs, he always adds mushrooms. Set the heat to medium low and add one tablespoon of butter to the warm pan. Next, saute the veggies with a pinch of salt until they are nice and soft. Add one or two eggs depending on your little one's appetite. This is a duck egg, so one is plenty big enough. Gently cook the egg through and then top it off with some cheddar cheese. This one takes a bit more time to make, but it's another toddler pleaser and is a bit cleaner for Macklin to eat. Before I reveal this next breakfast, I have a huge favor to ask. If you have a quick, easy, healthy toddler breakfast that you wanna share with others, please add it to the comments below. I think it would be amazing if we just had this encyclopedia of breakfast ideas, so do that now. Now back to our breakfast. On Thursday, we made berry pancakes. Start by adding frozen berries to a small saucepan on medium heat. Once they start to cook down, add a tablespoon or two of sugar. Now whip up your favorite brand of Just Add Water pancakes. Cook them until they are golden and fluffy on both sides. Then top the pancakes with the berries and serve it in bite-sized pieces. And sometimes I just spread a little jam on top if I don't want to bother making the frozen berries. With this breakfast, Macklin usually eats one and a half pancakes. By the end of the week, I just want to make the easiest breakfast of all time, which is PB&J oatmeal. We're going to cook up the oatmeal just like before by mixing together one third cup of oatmeal with half a cup of water and microwave it for one minute. Stir this together and then microwave again for 30 more seconds. Then stir in one heaping tablespoon of peanut butter and jam to the oatmeal. It doesn't necessarily look very pretty, but it tastes delicious and Macklin gobbles this one up every time too. Saturdays we tend to make fancier and more labor intensive breakfasts, so today we're going to make avocado and egg toast. I start by toasting one piece of whole grain bread and then I spread about half a small avocado over the toast. Next I get a small skillet on medium low heat. I cut up a couple grape tomatoes and add them to one egg. Then melt one tablespoon of butter in the skillet and dump the egg mixture in. Cook the egg through and then spread it over the avocado toast. You can always add a little cheese on top of this as well. It is an extremely filling breakfast for a toddler, so Macklin usually eats about three quarters of this breakfast and I just finish the rest. Sunday, we're pretending to escape to a beach with tropical cream of wheat. We start with three tablespoons of cream of wheat and half a cup of water and microwave for one minute. Stir the cereal to prevent lumps again and add half a banana and about a quarter cup of frozen mango. Microwave this in 30 second increments until you can easily smash the mango with a fork. If there are any pieces that won't smash down, I remove these as it tends to be the fibrous pit of the mango. Then we add a couple handfuls of toasted coconut and stir everything together. But feeding your toddler does not stop with breakfast, so if you're looking for easy snacks or light lunches, you can click here for our favorite three ingredient snacks. Love to feed to your toddler? Toddler? <laughs> if you have an easy OMG. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.